much you can do in Dallas Fuel. A bright spot, but it's going to be London Spitfire in the end, taking the series 3-1. Let's take a look at the season standing, see how that one affected things. Dallas Fuel still in contention to go to our play-ins after the end of Stage 4. So if they can just hold on, they can still make a run in it. Well, the week week before when we played against London and lost, we didn't take it too harsh because we knew that London was really good and we didn't have the best practice for it. We felt like that was a match where we genuinely had an opportunity to learn and grow. I think we we felt like we were genuinely challenged in how we think about this meta. So there was a lot that we could learn and, and gain from it. So our goal coming out of that match and coming into the next week was you know, really to button down the hatches and make sure like our structure's good and structure's sound and make sure we're ready to go for this week. Came in, had a, had a meeting with all the players and told them that I wanted to really, really focus on structure, how we go about review, put a lot more emphasis on strategy meetings and VOD review sessions, and then really try to take these scrims seriously because um, at this point, you know, we only have six games left and we have to win at least three, preferably four, uh, to really get into the plans. And so we really need to make everything count. The whole, whole start of the week, we had insane scrims. I, I feel like we had insane scrims. Like we did really, really damn well. And everybody really played on their top level, like the best they can. When we came back, it, it felt really good. Things were really starting to click with, with how we wanted to play this meta, with how, how we wanted to go about doing these. I think after our first match against London, we sort of had a much better idea uh, about what was going to be popular in terms of hero picks and compositions. So we started having a better foothold in the comps we wanted to run and what we thought was strong on the maps. We had experimented with a lot of different stuff previously, uh, and now it was more of a matter of refining stuff like our May comps, stuff like our Reaper comps. Uh, and we had a few things that we knew was gonna be strong uh, to pull out on stage, so we were feeling fairly confident. Coming into the end of the week though, uh, we kind of encountered some troubles in scrim. Uh, a couple of different variations of comps came through um, that we weren't really able to handle well. And I think those comps really kind of uh, really kind of got to us with how we wanted to actually handle them. I don't know what the hell happened. <laughs> like we just, like a day or two before, we started doing different things. Like things were not working. People got boomed as hell. I got told it as hell. <laughs> Um, I, I think there was a lot of pressure on the guys towards the end of the week to, you know, try to overcome this uh, this new style that we weren't super familiar and didn't have much practice against. Um, and so I, confidence got a little shaky at the end, and, and, and I think the last few scrims before our match were uh, weren't quite as good as the rest of them. But you know, we still wanted to go into this match with as much confidence as we could, um, and, and feeling as prepared as we possibly could. What are we doing, Lou? We're watching the Valiant game. Valiant had a match earlier in the week um, against another team before our match versus them. One of the lucky things was that Valiant had two of the maps that we were gonna play, which meant that we could kind of see their style and how they were gonna play. And I think I think that actually did help us a lot. <laughs> you got me. <laughs> Content. Content right there. So we got a really good read on what comps we expected them to play, what we thought their strengths were. Even though we already kind of had scouting info on what they'd play, it just kind of you know reaffirmed the stuff that, that you know our scouting information was good. What did you think of that match? Valiant's playing kind of what I expected them to play. Well, that's good, right? Yeah, so you feel pretty good about this. So we felt really prepared going to the match. It was just a matter of pulling off the stuff we were practicing. Uh, yeah. Just it. No, no, none, none for the out. Hey, hi, hi, guys. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm just going, keep going. I'm not going to go. Yeah, just spirit, just spirit, just spirit. Go on, go on, go together. Match day was a pretty average match day. We didn't want to underestimate Valiant. They've obviously been looking way better this stage, uh, and we knew they got some really talented DPS players that we had to worry about. Overall, we felt pretty good, but you know there was still a little bit of you know things that I felt like we needed to overcome before the match. Uh, we had you know a pretty intense meeting before the match, try to make sure that we could we could get through it and and feel super confident going into the match. We tried to 
like gather everything we could, not care about what how the practice went the day two before. As as we started warming up and got to the arena, you know, I think everyone kind of came together with how we wanted to do things and really pulled up the bootstraps and focused on on this match because every match matters and we really wanted to, to make a splash in this one. All right, so listen, when we go out there, no matter what happens, we do it as a team, okay? We give it our all, we do it as a team. So we're gonna do team on three, okay? One, two, three. Team! And here we are live for our third match in the Blizzard Arena in Los Angeles. We have a bottom left and we've got a house full of fans. So, let's go ahead and get our first team out onto the stage now. They are the away team, the Dallas Fuel. Okay, you ready for the 3, 2, 1, okay? 3, 2, 1, uh, three, two, one yeah. Yeah. Let's go! At all, so he needs to get a little bit more of an impact. But as long as his team are surviving, that's the one of uh, the big things about, about running for Reaper as well. As I say that, of course, we're going to get half of them chucked off the side in the valley. Now, this is a hard reset. I'll damage healers, and Echo just lobs in an orb against two. It's such a tip, so I'm ready for as well. He's going way back there. He's touching the point, but then that means his team have no healing. Nothing, right? And now, there's the bong, there's the bongos. This is it, Dallas Fuel. Take the first point. Space trying to go ahead and get into the back line, but he's going to get removed. And now you get to focus on the juicier targets. Exactly. Total wipe the Valiant. Everybody getting sent back to spawn. I think we performed really well on Busan. Especially, you know, our, our combos felt pretty good. Being able to pull out the comps we did on Busan and do well with them was a big confidence boost. They are getting picked off one after another, and that is going to be it. The Dallas Fuel will be picking up the first map of the series. Again, but his life is not long. And guys, let's go. Zach already stepped up. I feel like Zach was uh, like insane. His communication was great. He actually took a lot of leadership with the team and, and how he wanted to do these strategies. And you could tell with his performance on May that he, he played really well. It's all on Unko now, but Unko, this is time Wow, well, that's a flanking, that's a flanking widow. Did you do right, get everyone in here, then you kind of forget, oh, they had to have a sim do this. So what does Taimu come back on? He's on the widow. Get some hats, open up some uh, space. This is it. Dallas Fuel going to pick up the first point. This is a clever play. I love to see it. So sick. OG going to overwhelm abilities. And in the back line, Karib taken out. Do they have anybody here to touch it? No. Oh, the play attempt there by KSF. He tried to teleport onto the point. Couching in the corner, hoping to stay alive. Zachary going to get deleted. Agility. Point blank with the rocket. Making the difference. And they will tie up the series. Uh, nice shot, guys. It's okay. As the guys came back into the dugout for halftime, you know, we had a discussion about you know, how things were going. Uh, we knew that with these two maps being so close before that you know, we really needed to buckle down on these last two. We really wanted to just maintain focus. We really wanted to come in and just play our game and, and make them react to us rather than us you know, fall into, into whatever game plan they're wanting to do. Just keep, keep tracking cooldowns, keep tracking ults, and, and we're gonna do great, okay? Right now, you guys are doing great at, at, at abusing their shield and abusing their walls. So just like keep it up. All right, boys, high energy. I want, I want energies just like just like the first map. Let's go. Let's go, boys. Let's get it. We have to do the three, two, one again, boys, because it gives us energy, okay? Three, two, one, fight it! Junker, 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 Junker. Well, Zachary is the one who's making it, but it's actually balanced against the agility of the KSF on the other side of the Valiant. I mean, Zachary's just running amok right now, and it looks like they will get two points on the side of the Dallas Field. So success there, but the Valiant will hold. It's about as good as an offense as you can have without completing Hollywood, though. The Valiant do come striking back. And they'll push it. And there it is, point blank space. Held on to it, whole hog. He's got him in the corner. No, he's gonna get melted eventually. Yes, no denying it, and they will succeed. The Valiant with a successful push. That's not gonna help things out. Dragon just thrown right into the mix, and that is brutal. No, no fresh mech for him. Zachary in the open, not gonna have anywhere to hide, and it is a total wipe. The Los Angeles Valiant all the defense. Dallas just not able to withstand the pressure whatsoever. A bottling, starting forward, has to contest. There's the big wall going down. He's blocked off from his healers. He needs a barrier down now, but it's not going to happen. Back fiction falls. And we may have it. We may have Dallas still doing it. Laser comes out. Nice. 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 And now, without the damage here, it's going to be so hard for the Dallas goal, especially if KSF continues to be the star of this match. Unko falls next. Space getting pushed back, but Space eventually gets melted. That's fine. There are still so many players alive here for the Valiant, and it's falling apart for the Dallas on the defense. The Valiant! 
will collect the win. Three to one oh, over the Dallas Eagles. Oh, so close. Oh, that was like, unlucky, boys. Nice yeah, try, guys. Overall, I do think the series was extremely close, all four maps. It was just a matter of us slipping up in a few areas where we'd overextend in one push or we would mismanage alts in another fight, uh, where just these small things that added up that eventually got to us and by the end of the series, we were just a little bit down on ourselves. That loss, you know, it, it definitely felt pretty bad because we were this close to being able to beat them. And it really came down to some crucial mistakes that we made. And that one kind of stings because it didn't feel like we got outplayed or that our strategies weren't good or, or whatever. But coming up, you know, so close but not being able to close it out because of some, you know, mistakes and stuff that we made uh, definitely kind of hits hard. This one definitely hurt. We knew our playoff chances are fairly slim going into stage four. So we knew that every match matters and every win is going to be a huge deal for us. And Valiant was one of the teams we expected to be able to take a win off. They were just better. Like Valiant just had pretty good performance, like the match was still close, but I definitely really hurt after having such a good start of, start of the week and then ending the week really. Yeah. This is one that, we, even though it sucks to lose, like we can be kind of proud of like some of our performances here. Um, I think uh, we actually did pretty well, um, given everything, so. We, we still can make it in, we absolutely can still make plans. Um, so we're just gonna aim for that, all right? Um, so don't take it too hard. Um, just be ready to, to keep going, okay? After the match, I was crying because I felt so bad. Like every, everybody off course feels like sad after losing, but like Zach, Zach definitely didn't need to feel bad. Like he was, he was playing out of his mind the whole series. And I'm glad he played good and didn't like, doesn't need to take the heat. I really played bad or I felt like I played bad, but it's it's also because like, I felt helpless in the match where, like I knew I could do it, but right now I cannot, no matter what I do. So I just tried to do my job, which was not enough. Like just today, we saw Chengdu beat New York 4-0, first, first ever 4-0 to New York. Vancouver got beaten by Justice. And Justice is like the bottom tier team. They they're already eliminated. They just want to they just want to show how good they are. And that's what I really want our players and myself to do. Where you're just hungry to win, right? And I feel like that's what we're kind of missing right now. It's an uphill battle from here. Our next week's matches are against Gladiators and Shock, two of the top teams right now. So we need to really buckle down and focus on cleaning up our mistakes. I think the biggest thing we need to focus on is just making less mistakes on stage, honestly. We have good players, we have good strategies, we have a lot of stuff that we're ready to pull out. It's just a matter of making sure it's perfect. It's up to us to face the music. You know, we've got no more wiggle room left. It's now or never if we're gonna make it into playoffs. So we really have to, you know, come in strong these next few weeks.